Okay, YouTube. This is the uh, mini e Revo. I've been doing a, uh, well, kind of documentary on it, if you will. And I just put the new shock hole in it. It's right there. It's the 70 weight team factory. Well, factory team. It's pretty good. It makes it a whole lot more not bouncy. Trying to get a mini Eero, we gotta get that. And I've been around the 3S in it still. The 3S Lapo. It's looking pretty good. I had no problems with it yet. It ain't blew up or anything. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I got the energy dog bones in the mail today. They're made out of metal. Pretty nice. So you don't, like, you run the big batteries in it and you're trying to take it off road or something. The tires spin so fast it throws little pins out. And these were 35 bucks. Ain't too bad. Pretty good. I'll show you these real quick. And these are actually metal too. They're not plastic. They kind of look like plastic, but they're not. But I got them out and made sure they weren't plastic. If they were plastic, I wouldn't put them on my truck. Could snap as soon as I jumped it. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find the part number for this. Okay, the part number is T3432. So if you want to get these, you can just go to Entergy.com and get them. Or you can go to the Toys and get them for about the same price. Bet Entergy will probably get them to you a little bit quicker than the Toys will. <clears throat> so. I did a running videos. You can watch my other videos. It's pretty. They're all right, I guess. This is my first couple videos on YouTube, so probably not gonna be that good. But I try to do the reviews of what you guys would prefer. I'm gonna be doing a review on the Savage XS Mini. Compared to this, see if it's any good. And oh yeah, I took the front bumper off. I'm gonna take the back one off too, cause I'm gonna stick Velcro Velcro on these. Cause if I flip this on uh, the black top, there's not a hole right here anymore to stick a body pin through. And this one's like almost gone. <clears throat> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put the tire extenders on this and make the tires go about to right there. So that would be pretty good. Let's see. Oh yeah, and this mini Erivo right here is for sale, by the way. I want... Preferably 280. Because it comes with the 3S Lapo and the Quick Charger. But it just depends on if you want this charger or the other charger. The other charger, you can watch my other videos. I don't got it with me right now. I'm letting a friend borrow it. Let's see, here's a cord plugs into it. Hold on a second. The cord plugs in right there. You plug it into the wall. It charges in about an hour. Ain't too bad. It's better than charging the stock battery with these crappy wall chargers it takes about six hours and if you want to get one of those you can get if you want to, if you want to keep around the stock battery for a while get one of these it charges in like 35 minutes this costs about 30 bucks it ain't too bad you just slide over to the two amps tells you all stuff wrong with it the green light to go uh it turned red once charging then it to go solid green once done charging so that's pretty cool. At least it has the lights on it. And this is more complicated to understand when you're charging a LiPo. All three lights will light up green when you're getting ready to charge it. That means it's ready to charge. 
if the if it needs to be balanced, this will go red and green really, really fast. Like you can barely see it. And then when it's done charging, it it just it's to go back to green. So it's kinda hard to understand. But I've only used it like twice. It's pretty good. It's supposed to be a quick charger. But if it takes an hour to charge a lot, but that's not that quick. My other one charged it in like 15 minutes. Let's see. I've been running it on a indoor track lately. This handles like crap on a track. Do not get one of these to race. Get one to bash. If you want to get a race and some, if you want to get something to race, get a mini eight or something like that. Do not get one of these. They will, you will not win one race with it unless you get lucky or you're just a better driver than me, which most of you probably are. <coughs> Let's see here, I'm gonna mention something else. Oh yeah, it gives you the option to put two turning servos. I'm gonna do that and show you all the difference between one and two. And I was gonna get a, a Mamba Mini in it to put right there and get a Sidewinder Casual Creations ESC to put right there. Make it see the difference between that. And I'm pretty sure I did a video on here with these uh, buggy tires. Yeah, I did. These tires don't get as good traction, but they stay on the rim a whole lot better than the other ones. So, these cost about, the front one cost eight and the back ones cost like nine, I think. So that's about 21 bucks if you, if you want to buy that. It's pretty good. They get really good traction on dirt, just not on road. And they start wearing off really easy. I don't even see it, but they're starting to wear. Oh, around the edges over there. So, if you have any questions, comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya.